okay so now in the next uh, in this particular session we are just going to solve uh, some very insightful problem from the lagrangian and hamiltonian so these are mainly from the previous year questions so you will also see that what is the trend of question in the uh, from the lagrangian and hamiltonian so the basic part of question we have already done okay so today we will go some special kind of problem and for this type of problem you have to prepare yourself little bit extra so let me go for step by step so the first question is basically in let me explain this question this question is that lagrangian is given and this lagrangian is given as half and x dot square minus x square so this is your lagrangian x dot is nothing but dx upon dt and obviously this is nothing but the harmonic oscillator for mass m and uh, uh, omega 1 you can angular frequency 1 so this is a very simplest form of lagrangian of harmonic oscillator and it is also given that uh, at t is equal to 0 the position of a particle is at 0 and it is also given at t is equal to t the position of a particle is at x not sorry t is equal to t not the position of particle is x not so what we have to calculate we have to calculate the action of a system so we have to calculate action of a system so how we will go for to calculating the action of a system if lagrangian is given and the initial and final condition is also given and obviously action of a system between t is equal to 0 to t not so what will be action between t is equal to 0 to t not so this is a very nice question simple question but very insightful question so whenever the problem related to action will come into your exam always you have to work every step of lagrangian by the way what is action of a system so if you remember that action of a system a is given by suppose we want to go for some let's say some time t1 to t2 and this is nothing but l q q dot t dt and this is definition of action so basically what we have to do we have to calculate this integral somehow we have to calculate this integral lagrangian is given and once lagrangian is given we have to calculate this integral but thing is that we have to integrate with respect to time so what we have to do we have to write lagrangian as a function of time then only we can go and integrate it so how we will use this all stuff and how we are just going to use this particular concept so what we have to do first we have to solve the lagrange's equation of motion and once we will solve the lagrange's equation of motion so what is idea so let's try to understand the idea first so what is the idea idea is that somehow i have to solve lagrange's equation of motion and i can write x as a function of time and same time i will write also x dot as a function of time so x as a function of time x dot as a function of time then what will happen we will easily put x dot here and x here as a function of time then from here we have to write the lagrangian as a function of time and once we will write the lagrangian as a function of time and if this is integrable then obviously we can find the action of a system so everyone is comfortable what is the idea behind all this calculation so whenever the the problem related to action will come into your exam what you will do you will just find the equation of motion that will be some differential equation and then you have to go for next step so let's go for uh, step by step calculation abhi tak kuch puchna hai to puch sakte ho anyone
Okay. So let's try to go for D upon DT del L upon del X dot minus del L upon del X is equal to zero. And this is nothing but X double dot plus X is equal to zero. So up to this limit, the work of physics is over. Now you have to use the differential equation very efficiently. So unless until you are not going to use the differential equation, it is very tough to solve this type of problem. So I request you that everyone that if you want to do better into classical mechanics, at least you have to command on the second order differential equation with the constant coefficient. At least you can command on this thing. This will make your life very simple. You will see that different problem. We Ultimately, we have to solve the second order differential equation. This is my equation of motion. And this is nothing but the second order differential equation. Can anybody suggest me what will be solution of this? I am not going to solve it. This is the part of differential equation. You have to use all this acumen of that differential equation into this particular problem. And then you have to go for this. By the way, this is very simple differential equation. What is your particularly uh, solution of this particular thing? Anyone can suggest me? Ita minus Ita. Sorry? Ye kya hai? Anyone? Anyone? What will be solution of this particular differential equation? This is a very simple differential equation. This is not an equation. This is x double dot plus x. Okay. You have to actually solve this one. d square x upon dt square plus x is equal to 0. This is your differential equation. What will be solution? Anyone? Okay. So don't worry. The first thing is that you have to learn differential equation. At least plus two level differential equation ko jarur karna hoga classical mechanics ke liye. By the way, the solution of this type of differential equation is A sine t plus B cos t. You can find both can be the solution of this particular differential equation. Now, we have to find the value of A and B, isn't it? With the initial condition? Karna hoga na? So how you will get it? So at x is equal to, at t is equal to 0, x is equal to 0. So from first one, so a sin 0 plus b cos 0. So from here, b is equal to 0. This is my first thing. So b must be 0. So the solution is basically x a sin t. This is my solution. And now we have to also find the value of A. So we will go for the second boundary condition. So when we will go for second boundary condition, then what will happen at, at t is equal to t naught, the value of x is x naught and this is A sin t naught. And the value of A is nothing but x naught sine t naught. So yes, everything we have calculated and you can see, you can see that x is written as a function of time. So now we have written x. So what is my x? The x is nothing but x naught upon sine t naught sine t. This is my solution of this particular differential equation. And everybody know that if it is harmonic oscillator, the solution must be either sine or cos or the combination of both. So you have to always keep in mind. Okay. So this is my solution. And now we have to calculate what is my x dot. So what will be my x dot? x dot is equal to x naught sine t naught. And that value is cos t. So now we next step is that we have to calculate the value of x value of Lagrangian as a function of time. Then only we can calculate it. So 
you can see every step you have to calculate every step so you have lagrange n you have solved the equation of motion and after then you have solved the differential equation and after then you will go for the x and x dot as a function of time so you can see each and every concept of lagrangian is asked into this particular problem so this is very interesting thing that and you have to always always keep in always try to work that what will be the solution once you will you are getting this type of solution okay so let's try to go for next step so from here i can write my lagrangian as half and x dot square and you can take x square upon sin so i can take this one is common because there is this is in both places and here we have cos square t minus sin square t what is cos square t minus sin square t cos 2t very good so that value is cos 2t so this is your sin square 2 not and this value is cos 2t now we have written our lagrangian as a function of time and this is your time evolution of lagrangian and once you know the time evolution of lagrangian then you can easily calculate the xn and this xn is nothing but you will go for 0 to t not because we have to calculate xn between 0 to t not and that is l dt and now this value is half x not square sin square t not and this value is cos 2t dt 0 to t not so what will be the final answer r by 2 cot t not very good so what is the solution uh, integration of cos 2t 2t sin that value is what sin 2t isn't it and sin 2t not by 2 hoga na yes sir okay so this Two will be cancel and one sign will be cancel. So what you will get? So I think you will get half x not square and sine sine cos and this will be cot t not. Isn't it? This will be answer. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So cos by sine is. basically cot so you can easily calculate this particular thing theek hai so obviously you have to do this problem with yourself maine to aapko just sikhane ke liye kiya tha to ab ye batao jab bhi aapke paas action calculate karne ke liye diya jayega aap kya karoge what you will do सबसे पहले क्या करना पड़ेगा आपको इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन में जाना पड़ेगा है ना और इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन में जाने के बाद आपको डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सॉल्व करना पड़ेगा एंड वंस यू विल सॉल्व द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन देन यू विल राइट एक्स एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी एक्स डॉट और क्यू एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी क्यू डॉट एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट एल एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी एवरीबडी इज कम्फर्टेबल है ना और ये आपके एग्जाम में जून टू थाउजेंड जून टू जीरो वन एट में आया था ओके सो दिस इज बहुत एक दो ही तीन बार एक्शन कैलकुलेट करने के लिए आया हुआ है बट आप फ्यूचर में हमेशा तैयार रहो कि इस तरह के प्रॉब्लम आएंगे क्यों इस तरह के प्रॉब्लम इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग यू कैन जस्ट बाय द एग्जामिनर every concept of lagrangian including some extra mathematical trick also so always try to figure it out this type of problem theek hai next problem par chale chalo
और प्लीज आप ये सारे प्रॉब्लम फिर से करोगे जाकर के है ना ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव अगेन अ लेग्रेंजियन ऑफ अ सिस्टम एंड इफ दिस इज माय लेग्रेंजियन देन वी हैव हाफ एम एक्स डॉट स्क्वायर माइनस हाफ के एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस के एक्स एक्स डॉट एंड टी ये आपका लेग्रेंजियन है एक्स भी है एक्स डॉट भी है टी भी है so suppose this is your lagrangian of a system and examiner have asked you and this question was asked into uh, december 2016 okay so this is very interesting question so in this problem examiner have asked you that this lagrangian will represent which particular system the options are damped oscillation the option are damping The option is the harmonic oscillator, and the next option is free particle. So, which kind of this system is telling you, and which kind of system is telling you? You can just go and see the four options. So, basically, we have to recognize the system. Please, 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 it is very difficult that only what watching the lagrangian and you can identify that thing so what do you have to do kaise karoge isko is tarah ki problem kaise approach karoge equation of motion nikale exactly exactly what do you have to do you have to just go for what equation of motion aur us equation of motion mein aapko ye bhi pata hona chahiye कि किस तरह का सिस्टम का मेले कुछ जो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सिस्टम जैसे फ्री पार्टिकल हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर डैम ऑसिलेशन फोर्स ऑसिलेशन सिंपल सिंपल पेंडलम इज समथिंग लाइक हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर सो इस तरह के चीजों को आपको इस तरह के जो सिस्टम है उसके डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन आपको पता होना चाहिए ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम सो ऑब्वियसली वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू गो फॉर इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन तो एक्चुअली एग्जामिनर आपसे क्या पूछ रहा है एग्जामिनर आपसे इनडायरेक्टली इसका इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन जानना चाह रहा है एंड देन आफ्टर नोइंग द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन यू कैन से दैट विच टाइप ऑफ सिस्टम इज दिस एंड यू कैन यू विल सरप्राइज दैट दिस लेग्रेंजियन इज सो क्योटिक सो वेरी इट इज नॉट अ वेरी सिंपल लेग्रेंजियन बट यू विल सी दैट दिस विल बी रिप्रेजेंट अ वेरी simple not very simple it is a simplest system so let's try to go for equation of motion okay so when we will go for equation of motion what we have to do you have to go for d upon dt del l upon del x dot minus del l upon del x must be equal to 0 so what will happen this value is एम एक्स डबल डॉट और पहले इसको पूरा ओपन करके करते हैं बिकॉज देर मे बी चांस टू डू एर एम एक्स डॉट इसका तो कोई रोल नहीं होगा दिस हैज सम रोल सो माइनस के एक्स टी इज देयर एंड वॉट इज डेल एल अपॉन डेल एक्स सो डेल एल अपॉन डेल एक्स इज प्लस के एक्स एंड प्लस के एक्स डॉट टी एम आई करेक्ट ठीक लिखा हो ना एंड दिस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड देन व्हाट विल हैपन वी विल जस्ट गो फॉर एम एक्स डबल डॉट सो दिस इज स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बट हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द टोटल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो यू हैव टू डिफ्रेंसिएट एक्स ऑल्सो एंड यू हैव टू डिफ्रेंसिएट टी ऑल्सो so this is very important so first we will differentiate x with respect to t so that value is minus k x dot t 
And then in the next part, we have to differentiate t. So that value is minus kx. And this is plus kx. And this will be plus kx dot t must be equal to 0. And you will surprise that most of the thing is going to cancel out. You will surprise that most of the thing is going to cancel out. And what you will get? You will get a ultimate thing. And what is this particular system? Which type of system it represent? Pre-particle. Pre-particle, Pre exactly. So it will represent nothing but what? Pre-particle. OK? So you have to always take care of finally this type of calculation. Doing the calculation accurately, most of the people are doing are uh, just trap into this particular part and they can do some wrong calculation. And once you will do some wrong calculation, the answer will be different and that will be also part of your option. So always try to do the problem step by step. Okay. Yata kuch puchna hai? To aap puch sakte ho. Next, I will go for next problem. Just a minute. Okay, so let's go for next one. This is uh, also a very interesting one. So again, Lagrangian is given and the Lagrangian is simply one dimension. And you can see the Lagrangian in general, are given one dimensional system, isn't it? So, you have just take the coordinate to solve karna hoga. But mx dot square minus bx. So, this is your Lagrangian. And what they are asking, they are asking, and this question was asked into June 2023. Okay. So, in this problem, you have to just go, you have to just find how x is behaving with the time look at again isn't it same thing you have to just write the solution that how x is behaving with the time so what do you have to do jara batao kya karenge yahan par equation of motion par jayenge aur wahan kya milega hame ek differential equation milega aur us differential equation ko solve karenge isn't it hai na yes sir and so always, and now you can see ki Lagrangian formulation or Lagrangian equation of motion tak pahunchna ek alag baat hai. Lekin final solution tak pahunchne ke liye aapko kaun help kar raha hai? Differential equation. Differential equation. So whenever you will learn differential equation, kuch bachcho ka ho gaya hooga, kuch bachcho ka saith nahi hua hooga, to aap ye check kar lo ki aapko differential equation ka kahaan use karna hai. Subse jada differential equation ka use agar aapko kahi bhi hoga, that is part in classical mechanics. So don't try to keep your differential equation part to the classical mechanics. In each and every good question actually, in each and every good question, the standard of question is raised with the help of differential equation. Are you getting my point? Yes. Or just yes. differential equation, second order differential equation with constant coefficient. That is more than enough for you. Are you getting my point? Hannah? So just try to, let's try to go for this. So first what we have to do? We have to just go for D upon DT, del L upon del X dot minus del L 
upon del x must be equal to zero. So what we have, we have m x double dot plus b must be equal to zero. Hannah, am I correct? Yes. So we have to solve this differential equation. Kaisa solution ho ga iska? Anyone? You have to solve this one. X double dot must be equal to minus B upon M. So this is D square X upon DT square is minus B upon M. Which type of solution is there? Exponential. Exponential? Why exponential? If x vagara hota, tab exponential aata. Integrating factor. Integrating factor. Why you will use integrating factor? This is not a linear differential equation. Integration kar sakte hain. Integration kar lete hain. D upon dx. Sorry, d upon dt. It is very simple. dx upon dt is equal to minus b upon m hai na so dx upon dt is equal to what minus b upon m t plus some constant let's say this constant is c1 isn't it aur dusra kya ho jayega fir fir se aap ise integrate karo so minus b upon 2m t square c1 t plus C2, this will be your answer. Algebraic solution. Please go and revise your differential equation properly. Or ye kuch nahi hai bhai. B ko aap agar mg likh doge to the particle in, is in gravitation field. Nahi? Gravitational field may kis tarah se potential vary karta hai? Linear vary karta hai? Yes? Yes, sir. Anna? So you can just see this is your equation, a final solution x as a function of time. Or is me jo apne jo jo option diye te wo sare hai exponential vi tha, sine ka vi option tha, cos ka vi option tha, and exponential is also there, and this one is also there. So always be very careful to solve the different type of differential equation. Okay, these are simple variables separable through up kar loge. There is not any problem. Hana? X or T can be easily variable. Uh, sorry, easily separable. Theke? So again, I am emphasizing, please do little bit more work on differential equation if you want to do good into classical mechanics. Okay, let's go for next problem. Kuch puchna hai tak? Okay, let's go for one more problem. And after then, we will go for some more problem on Hamiltonian. Okay, so this is from the gate examination and only one time this type of problem has come in your exam. So you have to always prepare this type of problem. Okay, and this is just a basic definition. So what is this? This is nothing, the potential is given. And potential here is function of generalized coordinate and generalized velocity. The potential is generalized coordinate, the function of generalized coordinate and generalized velocity. And it is given 1 plus q dot by q square. And this question was asked in gate 2011. Okay. So this question was asked in gate 2011. So now this is your potential and this potential is function of generalized coordinate and generalized velocity here is Q dot. 
okay what do you have to do you have to find generalized force you have to find generalized force force actually what will be generalized force maine bata rakha hai anybody can give me answer generalized force ka definition kya hai minus the vacuum del hmm generalized force is basically d upon dt del v upon del q dot minus del v upon del q you remember you can just go and revise your lagrangian part your generalized force will be minus del v upon del q when it is not a function of generalized velocity when it is function of generalized velocity then obviously you have to use this as a definition of generalized force so this is a very tricky and very fundamental problem that unless until you will not know what is the actual definition of generalized force then you cannot apply this thing now rest is very simple so let's try to go for this particular problem okay so first we will calculate del v upon del q dot so what is del v upon del q dot 1 upon q square isn't it and then we have to calculate del v upon del q and what is this particular thing minus 2 upon q cube 1 upon q dot will be also there and this will be q cube and minus 2 is there am i correct ठीक लिखा हूं अगर कहीं मैं गलत हो तो बताइएगा ठीक है ना ओके नाउ नाउ वी विल पुट इट हियर बट प्लीज माइंड इट क्यू इज योर जर्नलाइज कॉर्डिनेट सो डी अपॉन डी टी इज गोइंग टू यूज हियर सो दिस थिंग इज गोइंग टू यूज हियर सो व्हाट विल बी दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो व्हेन वी विल गो फॉर दिस वन सो देन दिस विल बी माइनस टू अपॉन क्यू क्यूब क्यू डॉट so when we are going to differentiate this one then you will get this one and minus and this will be minus 2 1 plus q dot upon q cube sahi kiya hu kya so you have minus 2 q dot q cube plus 2 upon q cube minus minus plus 2 q dot q cube and this and this is cancel out so you have 2 upon q cube so this will be your generalized force everyone is comfortable dekh lo agar kahi kuch error ho to aap bata sakte ho plus minus mein because i never use solution every time i do the problem by assuming i am doing it fresh so thoda bahut error ho sakta hai so in a calculation but you can recheck it sahi hai na yes sir yes, yes sir. okay chalo good so let's try to go for a uh, some basic problem from hamiltonian side and again you will see the differential equation will come into picture okay but let's try to go for the some basic problems sir jo hame previous year questions ka uh, mila hua hai pdf usme jo net ka last question hai 12th question se wo karwa dijiye ligrange pehle abhi main jo karwa raha hu wo kar lo theek hai okay don't worry hai na aap sare question kar paoge okay don't worry hai na okay sir ठीक है ओके सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर अ नेक्स्ट वन सो वी हैव हेमिल्टोनियन पार्ट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर हेमिल्टोनियन
So here h is given as p square upon 2m plus k q t and it is given at t is equal to 0, p is equal to 0 as well as q is equal to 0. So at t is equal to 0, momentum is 0 and q is 0. And again you can see this is again into your gate examination and this is in 2019. So this is again a very nice problem. So here the question is q as a function of t to the power alpha qt q as a function of time is t to the power alpha then you have to find the value of alpha. Are you getting it? Kya mil raha hai Kya karna hoga ye fir se bataiye? How you will go for it? Anyone? Hamiltonian se pahle Lagrangian nikalenge. Lagrangian kyun nikalogye? Equation of motion. Hamiltonian equation of motion ko solve kar Isn't it? Yes. Aap Hamiltonian se fir Lagrangian nikalogye. Fir ekuski equation of motion. Equation of motion to hamesa equation of motion hi hoga. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. To yahan par aap Hamiltonian equation of motion isse solve kar loge. Aur jab aap Hamiltonian equation of motion solve karoge, then what you will get? You will get del H upon del P is equal to what? Q dot. And what is your del H upon del P? P upon M is equal to Q dot. And what will be next one? Del H upon del P is equal to minus Q dot. Sorry, kya kar diya? del H upon del Q is equal to minus P dot. So when you will go for del H upon del Q, then what you will get? You will get K T is equal to minus P dot. Clear here? And now from here we have to solve each and everything. So what is value of P here? Bataiye, what is value of P? Can we solve this particular equation? This is first order differential equation. What is value of P? Minus k minus k t square, square by minus k t square by two plus some <laughs> constant. And initial condition at t is equal to zero. Q is also what? Sorry, P is equal to zero. So C is equal to zero. So at t is equal to zero, we have P is equal to 0. So we will have C is equal to 0. So we have P is equal to minus kt square upon 2. Now you can see we have to go for second equation. Now ek chiz hume sa dhyan dekna ki jab aap Lagrangian se solve kar rahe ho to ek hi equation se kaam chal ja raha aapka. Isn't it? But that equation is actually second order differential equation. Are you getting my point? Lekin jab aap Hamiltonian solve kar rahe ho, when you are going to solve Hamiltonian, then aapko do separate equation ko simultaneously solve karna hai, but they are actually first order differential equation. So this is beauty of Hamiltonian, hai na? Aar dono ke liye initial condition, do, hi, do initial condition to chahiye hi. Agar aap second order differential equation, ek single second order differential equation solve kar rahe ho, how many initial condition you needed? One or two? Two. Two. Aur agar do single, do first order differential equation solve kar rahe ho, how many initial condition you needed? Two. Again two. So initial condition dono case mein aapko pata hona chahiye, and that should be the two initial condition. But the beautiful part of Hamiltonian is that, you can solve the first order differential equation here. Isn't it? Because here is P dot, here is Q dot. And now you can go for this. You can just put the value of P here. So Q dot is equal to minus K T square upon 2M. 
एंड नाउ वॉट विल बी वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू क्या हो जाएगा बताओ माइनस के टी क्यू बाई सिक्स माइनस के टी क्यू बाई सिक्स एम प्लस सम कॉन्स्टेंट सी एंड अगेन एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड लेट से दिस कॉन्स्टेंट इज सी वन टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो क्यू इज नथिंग बट माइनस के टी क्यू बाई सिक्स एम सो वॉट इज वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा अल्फा इज थ्री यस सो अगेन यू कैन सी वेरी बेसिक एंड फंडामेंटल पार्ट ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन शुड बी ऑलवेज लर्न विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स एवरी वन इज कंफर्टेबल विद दिस है ना ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर अ नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम this is one of the best question ever asked into the net examination okay and this is hamiltonian problem and this is came into and let me first explain the question the question is h is equal to x px minus y py minus half x square plus half y square okay and this problem was asked in net 2011 i don't remember december or january but this was asked in net 2011 the question is very simple what will we plot between x and y and what will we plot between px and py what will be shape of that plot hyperbola ellipse straight line circle and all this kind of thing so how you will approach this type of problem aapko karna kya hai ye zara soch soch kar batao you have to always give the thought process to every problem and this is really wonderful and initial condition is also given so initial condition is given that x is equal to sorry t is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 i think x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 and t is equal to 0 px is equal to half and py is equal to minus half this is initial condition and once this is initial condition is given and you have to find what will be the relation between x and y and what will be the relation between px and py wonderful problem kaise approach karoge how you will approach it hmm anyone so we can solve hamiltonian equation of motion yes you have to go for hamiltonian equation of motion and then you have then, to solve the then solve the uh, each uh, coordinates like px and py and x and y then you have to solve the equation of motion and then you have to solve the differential equation isn't it yes sir and once you will solve the differential equation then the time part will be everywhere x as a function of time y as a function of time and then what you will do you will remove the time remove and you can time. write the relationship between x and y isn't it yes, yes sir and similarly you will do this thing for px and py so let's try to go for this one so what we have we have del h upon del x is equal to minus px dot so del h upon del x is equal to px 
माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी एक्स डॉट एंड देर इज वन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज पी एक्स प्लस पी एक्स सॉरी पी एक्स डॉट प्लस पी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स दिस इज माई फर्स्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सेकेंड डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डेल एच अपॉन डेल पी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स डॉट एंड वॉट इज डेल एच अपॉन डेल पी एक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स डॉट इज एंड इट एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू गो फॉर वाई देन वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट सो इट विल टेक लिटिल विट टाइम है ना समय लेगा आपको सॉल्व करने के लिए ईच एंड एवरीथिंग लेट्स गो फॉर सेकेंड वन डेल एच अपॉन डेल वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी वाई डॉट दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन सो डेल एच अपॉन डेल वाई इज माइनस पी वाई प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी वाई डॉट सो वी कैन हैव दिस थिंग पी वाई डॉट माइनस पी वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस वाई दिस इज माई थर्ड वन एंड नेक्स्ट इज डेल एच अपॉन डेल पी वाई इज इक्वल टू वाई डॉट एंड वॉट यू हैव यू हैव माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू वाई डॉट ओके नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल ट्राई टू फिगर इट आउट वॉट विल बी रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एक्स एंड एक्स डॉट एंड वाई एंड y dot everyone is comfortable so what will be solution of this one xt plus c is equal huh? kya kar rahe ho sir exponential ha huh? kon bola ye answer what is solution of this thing you have to solve dx upon dt is equal to x so dx upon x is equal to t the solution is x is equal to a e to the power t isn't it yahi hoga na acha and when t is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 so a is equal to so i am using this place x is equal to a e to the power t so at t is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 you can see the boundary condition so you have 1 is equal to a e to the power 0 so a is equal to 1 so what is your equation x is equal to e to the power t okay and similarly what will be solution from this particular differential equation iska solution kya hoga sin is at the e to the power minus t who is Sotan, are you saying that this is sinusoidal? No, sorry. Sir. Oh, this is blunder. This is not second order differential equation. This is just a first order differential equation. What will be solution? E to the power minus t. E to the power minus t. Yes. Now x is equal to e to the power t. Y is equal to e to the power minus t. What will be the relationship between x and y? y is equal to 1 by x or x y is equal to 1 so which type of equation is this hyperbola hyperbola rectangular hyperbola so x and y is the rectangular hyperbola please do calculation very sharply and use your mathematics very nicely otherwise it is very difficult okay now the challenge is that how you are going to solve it now you know what is the solution of x you know what is the solution of y so we have two differential equation px dot plus px is equal to e to the power t and yes this is nothing but the linear differential equation isn't it is yes. solve kar paoge ise hai na so i am i have just solved it so i am just giving you a direct solution and please try to solve it with yourself px is equal to c1 e to the power minus t 
plus e to the power t by 2. We have to calculate the value of c1. How you will calculate the value of c1? With the boundary the condition. The boundary condition. When you will put t is equal to 0, so px is equal to half. So what is value of c1? c1 is equal to 0. Okay? Because you can put at t is equal to 0, px is equal to half. So it will give you c1 is equal to 0. And second equation is that py dot minus py is equal to minus e to the power minus t. Again, this type of solution, you can easily get this one. So py is equal to c2 e to the power t plus, and I think it is minus, minus e to the power minus t upon 2. And again, you can see the how beautifully this boundary condition is given. t is equal to 0. This value is equal to what? Minus half. So it is given at t is equal to 0. Py is equal to minus half. So c2 is equal to 0. So what is your solution? Your solution px is equal to e to the power t upon 2 and py is equal to e to the power minus t upon 2. So what is the relationship between px and py? px equal to 1 by 2. One by py. So that is also rectangular hyperbola, isn't it? So this is also rectangular hyperbola. Are you getting my point? So you can just go for px is equal to or px into py is equal to 1. Hana? So now the both will be rectangular hyperbola. So you can see how we can solve this thing. Again, what is the most important tool for the classical mechanics? Differential equation. Differential equation. Now you can see why mathematical physics are so important. Are you getting my point? Yes. So now what you will do? You will just go and revise your differential equation chapter. And after then, do all this problem with yourself. Okay? And try to do your uh, basically a previous year question with yourself. So I am giving you two and three questions to your homework. Try to give me the solution. So first is question number. So just go for, I am just giving you page number and question number. So just try to do this with yourself. Okay? And don't try to see the solution, hai na? Ab isko aap post karo jara. So first is question number eight, and this is from gate PYQ. Okay. Okay. And this is for year two thousand nineteen. So you have to just solve it. And after then, you can give me the solution of net the this is your question number, sorry, question number twelve and December two zero. One nine. So these two questions are your homework. Okay. Just try to solve it. So these both are from uh, Hamiltonian chapter, no? Uh, no, this is for the Hamiltonian. And this is for the Lagrangian. This is from Lagrangian. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. So this is your homework, but isme jane se pahle aap kya karoge? Pahle ye sare question khud solve karo, and after then aap fir ek var sare questions lagao. Ask your doubt. Aap apne doubt mujhe message kar sakte ho. 
and then try to solve these two problem and in next class we will move ahead and we will go for what basically poiseau bracket and use of poiseau bracket to understand the system clear here and you can also give your basic test of ct6 and just i am just giving you which one which test you can give now 